G'day guys, today we're going to do a short video on something that really bugs me and it is these batteries. On the bag here it claims to be a 100C battery. I charged it up to 16.8 volts, put it on my drone, took off, flew probably 20 meters and immediately got a sign on the bottom of this goggles saying land immediately. I looked at the voltage on the cell and it was down to 12.7. So unfortunately I couldn't even fly it back over the fence because it just didn't have any power to do that. So it landed. On returning back to the house I took the battery and I took this little unit here and I plugged it in and as you can see it's reading 16.5. Do that again. 16.5. There is no way that a battery that dropped from where it was at 16.8 down to 12.7 is in good shape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it open and I'm going to measure the resistance of each of the cells. Safe to say these CNHL black series batteries will never be part of my program again. And I would strongly suggest that if you are looking at buying these, irrespective of the price, you should consider something else. We'll come back with the details of what the readings were on the resistance inside this battery shortly. Okay guys, as you can see we've got the battery stripped down, taken all the bits and pieces off. What we're going to be using is a resistor, which we will just measure and check to see what its resistance is. 119.2. Now the reason for that is that we need to connect it across the battery at the same time. What we're going to do is check the cell voltages just to see what they are. 4.055. Next one. 4.062. Next one. 1. 4.060 and then the last one 4057 so everything looks good at this point in time that we are up to this amount of power and we got to now clip the resistance across the terminals and set this to voltage DC volts and then test the first one just to see what we get. It's a little bit awkward because these bloody clips won't stay where I want them to. Still reading 4054. Four oh six oh. Four double oh two six and four oh five four. Now that's a little surprising, and the reason being is if you measure using a resistor across the battery, if there's a fault in the cell, it should lose its charge. In other words, if it without a resistor reports say four volts, and then you put the resistor on one would expect that to then read a lot lower but clearly in this case we're not getting any different readings and I have no idea why this battery showed as being a problem during this flight. So what we'll do. I have put the battery on charge and I wanted to know how many milliamps it would charge up to and as you can see roughly 170 milliamps it's gone blue it goes green straight after this and that's the end of it. So so far a battery which is supposed to be 1500 milliamps and is only now just gone to 170. Let's have a look at what the footage is from the drone on canvas mode because it'll tell us what it thinks it used. Aircraft taking off. Look at the voltage on the left hand side dropping dramatically. This is real time. There is no speeding up of the video. Down to 14. As I come around the light, drops less, 14 again. Low battery warning straight away. 13 volts. Now down to 12. 
I rotate it, goes to 11, falls out the sky. As we can see from that video, there was no way that this battery had any capacity to fly the aircraft and dropping so dramatically before the end of the flight and ultimately ending up with 10.19 volts and saying that it had used 101 milliamps and we looked on the machine and it says 170. Now the difference there is a discrepancy between the setting on the drone and the charger. The charger is more accurate, the drone is a nominal value. But at the end of the day it was fully charged at the 16 volts, 16.8, and should easily have given me a flight time of around 4 minutes. So in summary, what's happening now is I've got the battery concerned on a discharge to drain it completely. It will then end up going into the garbage and being disposed of. CNHL, China Hobby Line batteries. I'm not going to buy them any longer. And as I said, I would recommend strongly that if you are thinking of buying these at these discounted prices they offer, it would be in your interest to buy something else. This is not the first one I've had this experience with. It is about the fourth one. All of them were 4S batteries, so I've not yet had a problem with the 6S, but for sure the 4S batteries have been well below what I would expect as a normal lifetime for a battery. Thanks for watching, wherever you are in the world, morning, noon or night. Have fun, life is great, from Australia. Bye for now.